Excellent, how are we doing? Good, Good then, <laughs> yes. How we're going to have fun, aren't we? Right, um, I agree with everything that Greg just said, so uh, I'm going to call it a day there. <laughs> now that was absolutely spot on, and uh, obviously part of what we want to do today is inspire you guys uh, in, in, onto a future career and, and kind of unlock something in you that just kind of uh, chases this uh, crazy dream that is being in the creative uh, creative industry. So uh, let's, let's have a look. Okay. Um, hello, I'm creative. I, I guess you probably guessed that because you've come to a creative session. Uh, but that means a billion different things as, as we're about to, to look at. Um, I'm going to give you a bit of background as to where I'm, uh, where, where I've come from, what I've done. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of, uh, show you a bit of an experiment that I've done uh, with, with our team, um, and I'm going to uh, um, try and explore a bit as to what it means to be a creative. Okay, so I'm from an agency called Wonderful. I'm the creative director there, um, and uh, we. We are kind of a branding and digital agency, so um, we um, take a business, we take a product, we take an idea, and we wrap it in visuals, in uh, in messaging, in things that people can can understand. You know, in stories, we we, we take something that um, that can you know you can sell to someone or the, the, something that you want to get out there and we help bring it to life. That's kind of what we do. So that can come in the form of um, websites, digital transformation projects, um, <coughs> e-commerce, uh, 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 digital to branding and um, brochures and all that sort of thing. Uh, Google us if you want to know more, I think, is the, uh, is the answer to that slide because I don't want to get, spend too much time talking about us. Uh, okay, so this is a bit more about me. So. I've had a slightly meandering career in as much as I started off in graphic design um, and sort of went to an art college and, and did that whole route. Uh, I came out of my first job, I was uh, working on fashion shoots and you can date me here in 2001 and you can date me here by the fact that this is how my first CV went out. Oh yes, <laughs> if you want to know what that is, ask mum and dad. Um, so I, when, I, when I went out there to get my first job, I was literally just posting out floppy disks and, and letters to people. Um, and uh, eventually got a job uh, working in London and worked in, with some great agencies up there on some great brands. So some of them are represented here and uh, some of them have done a variety of things for, from sort of branding projects for HSBC. Uh, I chose the Chelsea Blue, believe it or not. Um, and uh, I also started a fashion label which did quite well for a while um, before I realised that I wasn't very fashionable so I should probably stick to what I know. <laughs> uh, but it, it, was, it was a great experience and, and sort of one of the things I want to encourage you today is to break out your, break your understanding out of what you think the streams of a creative uh, career might be. So I started as a graphic designer but was able to get um, uh, garments that I've designed with a friend onto catwalks in London. So you just don't know. You just don't know. So that's a bit about where I've come from. So, okay, so I wanted to tell you about what, it, what it's like to be a creative director. So I thought to do that, I'm going to do a little experiment with my team first. So, what I did was I said to them, guys, I've got to go and speak about uh, being a creative director tomorrow. <laughs> and I need some images uh, to kind of to go with it to sort of show what it's all about. You know, help me out here. So I gave them a challenge, and I said to everyone in the studio, from kind of marketing to digital to other creatives, send me a photo of what you think a creative director does or, or is. You know, what does a what is a creative director? Send me an image. Okay, are you ready for this? Right, image one. <laughs> That's a dog doing a painting. I'm trying hard not to be offended by these, but to be honest with you, they did hurt a bit. Okay, so then we had these guys. So uh, this guy on the right here is an actual creative director. Someone stole it off of someone's website. So I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe um, maybe creative directors are what we're seeing here, and I've got the wrong end of the stick. Um, so we got these guys. Uh, then we have. This slide here. Now, uh, this slide on the left here was sent to me by our kind of head, our operational head, the guy that keeps production head keeps keeps stuff going. So that's definitely 
you know, his experience of me, lots of plate spinning. Uh, on the right here was sent to me by one of our other creatives, so I'm not sure that fills me with uh, enormous confidence <laughs> with how they feel about that whole, whole creative team. But yeah, you know, there can be some days where you spend the whole day like this. Okay, so we then had this. Not a photo from my actual childhood, I might point out. Um, but some days do feel a lot like that. Uh, then we had literally just a random picture of a dog and for those that are old enough to remember Art Attack, <laughs> which is probably the wrong audience for that one, uh, as a, a, a puppet head thing. Anyway, I think this is fine. Me. And finally, someone went to the trouble of photoshopping a project we're currently working on. So this is a tram in Melbourne that we've that we've wrapped in this sort of uh, campaign that we're doing. And so we've gone to the trouble of photoshopping it onto a, a piece of paper with some crayons just to make the whole creative to just colour people to colour stuff in joke. So I think my conclusion from this was um, nobody knows what I do. I think that was broadly my, my conclusion from, from this. So, so I thought, okay, let's break it down a bit more. If none of my team know what I'm here to do, uh, then I need to kind of explore it a bit, a bit more. So I thought I'd break the title creative director down into its component parts. So, you know, it's not like an entomologist where, you know, it's not obvious, or should be obvious what, what that is, but creative and director should be quite clear. So let's break it down into those parts. So we have creative. So creative is, uh, is a difficult thing to define. So, uh, so again, because, um, um, not because I'm lazy, not because I'm not very good at this, because I'm creative, I thought I'd go to Google and ask Google what it thought creativity was. So this is what we get. So these are off the first page results when you Google creativity in <coughs> Google. So creative is um, all about men lifting brazens on the left here. Um, it's a rainbow pineapple or um, you know, someone holding a banana in the air with the word different written above it. Not very helpful when we try and understand actually what it's all about. So, um, so what is what is creativity? Um, how do how do we understand it when it has so many different expressions? And you know what, what actual use of it? So, like we were saying earlier, everybody in this room can be creative. Hands up here who's in a sort of studying some sort of creative or some sort of arts course. Okay, so a good proportion of you. So we got we, we should have a friendly crowd. Um, so. Creativity isn't actually confined to the, what you study or what you do. Creativity is actually like this force that's loose in the world and actually can be harnessed by, by any of us. Uh, creativity um, is, is actually what we use when we need to change a situation or you know, when the established actually is not enough. Um, creativity actually doesn't care how hard you work or what you've studied, believe it or not. Creativity doesn't care about that because creativity can come from the places you don't expect it. Creativity doesn't actually graft or strive. Creativity sort of uh, looks like some you sort of relaxing or going for a walk or uh, yeah, sitting on the toilet or reading a book or creativity looks like it's not really doing much a lot of the time. And so a lot of the techniques we use for creativity are about sort of breaking out of the, the grind and the, the focus and, and actually the structures we put in place to get stuff done. I think creativity can be summarised by uh, like this. So I think creativity is about breaking the normal patterns of how things are done. So it's about breaking, so when we, uh, when we do things and we remember things, we lay them down in like a pattern in our structure in our brain and that's how we remember things. Creativity breaks that. It gets, forces us to think outside of our normal constructs. So, fortunately, a famous man called Edward, Edward de Bono, who's like the father of lateral thinking and sort of uh, understanding creativity, um, agrees with that statement, <laughs> which is, I mean, he obviously got it from me, but I'll, I'll, I'll give him that one. Uh, so, creativity involves breaking out of established patterns in order to look at things in a different way. 
which is great, and it can be the, one of the most powerful forces in the universe. But it doesn't, it doesn't have to fall into one of our sort of creative arts sort of formats. It can come from anywhere. I'm not actually that creative. Don't let that leave the room. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not creative in the real traditional sense of you won't find me at the weekends making sculptures and, and sort of doing crazy stuff and painting my house uh, indigo. And you won't find me doing that stuff because the way I'm creative is actually I, I connect things, disparate things, and into meaning. So um, when that's a brand, I'm forming a story out of the things that I'm being told so that we can then communicate to, that to other people. Um, if it's a, a website, um, you know, I'm looking at the way users interact with this thing or you know, the different um, trends that are happening or the visual ways that we can connect, uh, that we can connect into meaning. So my type of creativity is, is, in some respects, it's quite sort of logical, but it doesn't quite happen like that. It's sort of a subconscious thing. So you don't have to feel like you're this kind of wild creative spirit in order to be creative. You will have a way for your mind to break the patterns uh, in order to look at things in a different way. You might have to sort of practice that a bit more than others, but it's in you and, and it's there. Um, Businesses love creativity. So um, all, all of your favorite business heroes uh, right now, and I'm sure you've got a whole list of business heroes, um, but guys like Elon Musk and Steve Jobs and Richard Branson, all these guys practice their creativity and they, they systemize creativity into their organization. So to run a big corporate organization, you need lots of logic and lots of linear thinking to make things happen but you also have to interject um, some creativity so that you don't end up just staying on the same railway track and you're still a steam train and then everyone else is, is an electric bullet train. So creativity is an essential force, but it's not actually that useful unless we harness it. Okay. Well, we'll get you to do something for me because I think you've been a bit too quiet and, and haven't said anything yet. So I want you to raise your finger and we need to point it at the person next to you. Come on, everyone. I can see you three rows back. <laughs> right, and I want you to say to them, well, if you're not creative, you must just be weird. Okay? <laughs> You didn't just say that, that went on and you got some stuff off your chest there, didn't you? <laughs> okay, so, um, so now we've got some idea what creativity is and the fact that it's this sort of force that needs to be harnessed. Let's look at the director part of, uh, of my job title. So again, um, I asked Google what it thought a director is and uh, this is what I got. Okay, so... Um, this is actually a very, this feels very familiar, this picture, because, um, you know, I spend a lot of my day, not with a golden spanner and a, you know, and a massive clock, but um, with all these different things going on and this sort of kind of chaos going on around me. But I think what this image says to me is that uh, the director part of my title is about getting stuff done. And quite usefully, it, it, it's also a useful part of understanding why creativity is so valuable, or how it can become so valuable. So cre creativity in and of itself is actually not that useful. If anyone's ever been um, or in a room full of kids, who are the most creative beings on earth, they will know that not much useful stuff happens in that room because they are all creativity and no actual focus or, or no kind of production. So creativity needs, needs something or needs a conduit or needs a way of expressing itself. So this is where we get to really actually, you know, what we think of when we, come, when we, when we talk about creative industries or being, being a creative. So if you are going to pursue a career in digital or creative or media or anything that is that requires lots of creativity you are going to need to develop some excellent skills 
you are going to need to develop skills better than those around you because creativity is, is crazy. Creativity is, is mental. You, you can, creativity forces you to turn up on a Monday morning and say, right guys, we're not going to do these spreadsheets today. We're all going to go and you know paint the walls pink and you know um, I don't know. I'm literally making this up on the spot. Um, paint our pineapples rainbow. Creativity leads you into those situations because it's about breaking normal patterns. So your skills are going to have to be on point, or else nobody is going to be on board with you. So. If you want to pursue a career in this industry, you have to develop the right kind of skills. So again, um, the skills don't necessarily fall into those creative slots. They can be all sorts of things. But what I will say is, whereas creativity doesn't work hard, and it is a lazy, lazy thing that turns up at the last minute when everyone else is panicking and tearing their hair out, um, skills really work hard. Skills care how hard you work. Skills come from you putting your nose to the grindstone and putting in the hours and putting in the learning.